In this question, we're given a voltage divider by this amplifier, and we're asked to find the voltage gain, AB, of the circuit shown. Well, the voltage gain, we know we can get using the formula RC over R prime E, which is the AC collector resistance divided by the AC emitter resistance. We can calculate the AC collector resistance, RC, by getting the collector resistance in parallel with the load resistance. So looking at the circuit diagram that we've been given, RC is 12 kilo ohms in parallel with RL, which is 50 kilo ohms. If we perform this calculation, we get a result of the AC collector resistance of 9.68 kilo ohms. So in our voltage gain formula, we can write out a value of 9.68 kilo ohms for RC, or the AC collector resistance, and now we have to find the AC emitter resistance, or prime E. We have a formula for R prime E, it's equal to 25 millivolts divided by the emitter current, IE. So our next step is to find value for IE, the emitter current. Our first step here will be find the value of the voltage at the base, VB. We also note that the voltage between the base and emitter, VBE, is equal to 0 0.7 volts. So how do we find the value for VB? Well, as highlighted in the circuit, we see that we have a 20 volt supply going through R1 in series with R2 going to ground. VB is the voltage between R1 and R2. So if I were to draw this circuit out briefly, we get the following. So we can use the voltage divider formula to calculate the value for VB. And that's given by the voltage supply Vs multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So if we plug in the values of the circuit with Vs equal to 20 volts, R1 equal to 150 kilo ohms, and R2 equal to 20 kilo ohms, we end up with the following answer. We end up with the value 2.35 volts. We can note on the diagram that VB is equal to 2.35 volts at this position here. We can now calculate the voltage VE at this point here being equal to the voltage at the base minus the voltage drops between the base emitter. So that's VB minus VBE. which in this case is 2.35 volts minus 0 0.7 volts, which results in a VE of 1.65 volts. We are now in a position to calculate IE using Ohm's law. IE is equal to VE divided by RE. So putting in the values of VE equal to 1.65 volts, and our emitter resistance given in the circuit diagram as 2.2 kilo ohms, we end up with an emitter current of 750 microamps. We can now use this calculated value of IE to calculate our AC emitter resistance, or prime E. So plugging in the values, we have 25 millivolts divided by 750 microamps, and that gives us an overall result of R prime E of 33.3 ohms. Now that we've calculated the value of R prime E, we can include it in our voltage gain calculation, RC divided by R prime E. So we put in 9.68 kilo ohms divided by 33.3 ohms, and that gives us an overall voltage gain of 291.